Hello everyone, I go by the name of Roxy Rose and this right here is Roxy Rose Guides Unstuffing of our Multiples of Five Savings Challenge Yay, I'm all done Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back uh, Y'all, we have completed the Multiple of Five Savings challenge so that's what we're going to be unstuffing today to see how much we went ahead and collected before we get into that part of the video i want to go ahead and thank my wonderful subscribers you are wanted and appreciated so thank you so much for coming back on this channel and if you're new here and wondering what we're doing we like to stuff cash unstuff cash and really go ahead and pay down debt so we can work towards being debt free Part of that is doing our finances, really focusing on different areas of personal finance. And today we're going to unstuff. So you're interested in things like that, all about cash stuffing, all about becoming debt free. If you want to go ahead and help you to help me to be debt free, go ahead and like and subscribe below and go ahead and leave a comment. I appreciate it. So... If y'all ever went ahead and so if anybody has looked at my unstuffing videos in the past, there's some up, up right up there. You know that I've been able to save up well from last time one thousand two hundred and fifty seven dollars is what I saved in April. And that is from stuffing and saving from my stuffings. Today, we want to see what we were able to go ahead and save using the multiple of five savings challenge. Sorry, y'all. Hold on one second. My baby's crying. Okay, so now let's go ahead. Don't mind my background noise. Uh, my baby's making noise. My husband just got home. It's just a lot. All right, so we are looking at our savings challenge, the multiples of five. If you are interested in the savings challenge, please go ahead and go into my Etsy shop. You will find it over there along with some of these so that you can save your money multiples of five. So as you can see, I kind of lost track of what I was saving, but multiples of five basically means any multiple of five, five, 10, 15, 20. And I kind of stopped at 20, but you could definitely go higher if you want to, if you feel more comfortable with that. And each of these comes with a card. So it has multiples of five, and then in the back comes with this cute little diamond for you to go ahead and put in right in your amounts. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and take out each one of these that's in here. And then we're going to count it. Are you ready? And let's go. Alrighty, we have completed it. Everything is empty. And now we're going to put it back here. I don't know if I'm going to continue that challenge. For now, I might give it a rest, give it a break. But let's see what we have so far. So let's go ahead and count. Well, let's get the money together. All right. In the meantime, let's go ahead and chat, chat real quick. Um, so I have been just overwhelmed with the end of the year when it comes to teaching at a school. Um, there's so much that you have to do at the end of the year. Um, they just finished state testing at my school and pulled up a lot of elementary teachers to help with middle school testing, if y'all can believe it. There's such a shortage of teachers right now, it's flipping crazy. So if you're looking for a job and you're a teacher, Please know, I'm very sure that there are positions available. Maybe not in the particular area that you want, but if you get in the right district or school area, school place that you want to, I'm sure you can finagle your way to get in the exact position that you want in the very near future. For me, I'm kind of in a little gray area space. Like I'm trying to figure out when I'm gonna have 
my next baby and whether it makes sense to stay in this particular school um, and try to have a baby or to leave and start a new afresh somewhere else but I'd have to wait a year to do maternity leave so that is kind of where my mind is at um, but I know at the end of the day God has his timing for when and how <laughs> that would come about but you know, it's something to think about when it comes to the future, when it comes to where I want to work and how I change jobs, because I want to make sure that wherever I go, I don't have a problem that if I, you know, whoopsie daisy, get pregnant, I can actually take maternity leave and get paid for maternity leave, which is a big, you know, I don't think that should be such an issue. I feel like if you're a maternity leave, I think two things if you're on maternity leave. And you're on maternity leave, no one should be able to take you off their health insurance. And if you're on maternity leave, they should pay you no matter what, whether you're working or you're not working. They should give you the money because it's not like you're using it for yourself. You should be using it for your baby. And babies cost money. So those doctor bills, those, you know, formula, different things like that. But, you know... We live in a country where it's a lot of shoulda, woulda, coulda, and things to, you know, you try to go ahead and share how you feel and how things should be equal for people, you're a socialist. If you do that, something else, you're something else. If you believe in anything else, you're... <sighs> There's a lot. <laughs> Live in such a crazy time, man. There's just so much going on for no reason. And I think also I've been getting stuck in all the ruckus that's been going on. There's hip-hop beef. There's aliens that people are still talking about. Eclipses that people are saying that, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's just me because I believe in conspiracy theorists. So there's just a bunch of stuff happening all simultaneously. While I'm just trying to live my life, raise my child, be good in my marriage, believe in God and worship God and do this YouTube thing, work my job, teaching kids and do my best. Um, speaking of kids, y'all, Teacher Appreciation Week was last week. I hope you guys were appreciated. If you're a teacher and you're appreciated or a parent that appreciated a teacher, please, in the comments, go ahead and leave me some information. What do y'all do for the teachers or what did you teachers receive? I know for me, I went ahead and got, um, I got a little cute little, let me go get it. Okay. So one of the gifts that I got was this and it says, Thank you for making a difference in the lives of students. And it's a little, you know, a little glass um, cup. And it has a little thing with a, you know, glass straw. So I think this is really cute. I definitely had to take it home because I didn't want it to break in the classroom. And I got a keychain and I got two cards and a bracelet from one of the students. She made the bracelet from scratch for me. So like cute little things like that are really cute. And they're great, like things that kind of make all the burden that comes with teaching kind of worth it. <laughs> but I was a little surprised. Now, as years has gone on, I feel like less and like each year I'm getting less and less presents from students. And I'm a little confused because I know my, my students love me, but even like there was a time, well, you know what? Maybe it depends where I go and what happens because Last year, I got many presents all year. I had students that made me cards and made me gifts and made me pop up little things. They made me 3D art and things like that all year long. Anyway, go ahead and make sure if you're not a teacher, please make sure to appreciate these teachers. They do so much. They do have so many jobs and they really, really try to help all the students that they have in their class, including your child, if your child is in there, or your family member, if your family member is in their class. It is a thankless job, but this is, well, last week was the week to really thank your teachers, so please take the time to do so. Just like 
if you would like somebody to thank you on your job, please give them the acknowledgement that they deserve. We all know we're not getting paid enough, okay? So at least giving a thanks for all the things that we handle that honestly we shouldn't be handling. I feel like teaching has shifted so much. It's a really a lot less of education itself and a lot more of like behavior management and discipline and a lot more other things that honestly teachers aren't supposed to be handling. That's a parent's job. Okay. A child should be going to school and learning and going right back home to deal with all that other stuff from the parents. So anyways, let's get into counting this money. So first we got to organize it. So let's organize it over here. Alrighty, y'all. So we have 5, 10, and 20, okay? If I were to put a 15, obviously it'd be a 10 and a 5. So there we got all this money. So, all right, let's go ahead and count all of this money. We have, let's start with our 20. We have 20, 40, 60, 81. So that's $100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92. So that's $200, $210, okay? 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So $300, 305, 10, 15, 20, 320 dollars. So, so far all together, we have $320 and 